What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and today we are doing May favorites. I am super excited about this video because there's a few products I've been super passionate about this month. Although I do have to say as a disclaimer, because I was so busy moving this month from Vancouver back to Toronto, as you guys can see from my apartment, if you guys are not new here, you would recognize this background. A lot of the products that I am going to be reviewing this month weren't necessarily from the month of May because as usual, I promise you guys, I will try it for 30 days but because of the move a lot of the products I've had to ditch so that being said a lot of the products here today are actually products I've just used for a really long time from before some of them are actually current month but some of them are not from this month two other disclaimers that I need to make number one if you guys are noticing the camera setup is a little bit more different I am playing with a new camera I'm also playing with a new microphone so please let me know if this setup is nice if you guys like the quality of this and I apologize in advance if I don't know if there's like glitches or whatever, but I am playing with new equipment to amp up the content The second disclaimer that I want to make or the third disclaimer is that if you guys can see this is actually The least amount of makeup I have put on on this channel. I am trying this new makeup brand It's a minimal beauty brand called merit beauty I will leave a link of the products down below, but I am using all of their products I feel like I've done the natural no makeup makeup look, but this is the first time I actually like really really love it because usually I'm a little self-conscious and like would not really want to go to camera with like a half makeup look. I either like the full face or just nothing at all. This is the first time I'm actually like really, really liking this summer glow. I'll even show you another close up, but I also use a lot of their products on my eyes. So I'm gonna be reviewing their products for the month of June. If you guys also like this makeup look, let me know. I would love to show you guys a tutorial for kind of like a cool summer breezy makeup look. That being said, let's get started on the video. So as usual, I have my categories of jewelry, I have beauty, and I also have a few kind of like wellness products. I am starting a series that is coming up. Please be patient with me. I really want to make it really, really good, but it's called Ideal Self Series, where it's going to be a lot about self-improvement. I also know you guys have asked me in the past, you know, you wanted to see the planning and kind of like the self-development phase. I'm very excited to let you guys know that I will be doing Plan With Me series coming up as well so make sure you guys stay tuned for that that's why I have some wellness products for you today so anyway starting with the first category as usual I'm gonna start with jewelry I wanted to mention that as usual I have a discount with Majuri so you guys can save a 10% off all Majuri products when you use my link down below the first item I'm gonna be talking about are these large hoops by Majuri if you guys are not new here you guys will know that I already have the midi hoops they actually have this exact same hoops in three different sizes so they have the large they have the midi and they have the small so I've already had the midi and I finally got the large I've been telling you guys I've been wanting to get this for a really long time so I finally got the large I'm just waiting for everything to open up I want to get my third piercing and then I'm gonna get a small because I saw this picture a long time ago of the three earrings like stacked side by side and it was so pretty even though I don't have my third hoop it already looks pretty amazing as usual you guys know how obsessed I am with solid gold products so you know that these products are solid gold and the large hoop is a solid gold the first few nights I didn't sleep with the product my laziness caught up to me so eventually I ended up started sleeping with them it was a little uncomfortable at first it's not something I recommend I feel like if you're not a lazy person I still recommend you taking it off I'm just a really freaking lazy person and I hate putting it on and off and taking it on and off I've been sleeping with it and it's been fine so far so that's kind of my thing I actually have three more Majuri products to share with you. I know this month has been a crazy Majuri month. I kind of went crazy. The second item that I want to share with you are the rings. I finally got the duo ring. If you guys have been watching my current Majuri favorite series, like so far I have two videos. I think I'm going to have to make another one because I have so many more new products I like and I'm going to consolidate it. I've been saying that this has been on my wish list for two videos in a row and I finally, finally got it, but I just love how 
how the product is just two rings tied together. It basically does like this really nice cross. And if you're a little bit new to stacking rings, this kind of does the stacking for you. I feel like that's pretty nice. And you get two rings in one. As usual, it's also solid gold. And also, if you guys are having issues with stacking rings or don't know how to, I also have a video on that. So you guys can check that out as well. The next majority item that I have is a bracelet. As you guys know from my neck, I have the initial W. So now I got the bracelet version of it and I got it in the letter L. Once again, solid gold. And I just like put it here. I already have two bracelets here on my right hand. So I just decided to switch it up and put it on my left hand with my watch. And to be honest, it's because I live alone and I couldn't put my own bracelet on on my right hand with my left hand it ended up having to be on my left hand so i could use my right hand to put it on living alone problems but anyway also this is why i like that it's solid gold because if bracelets were not solid gold it would mean that i have to take it off every night and i just cannot i cannot bother with taking off bracelets and putting it back on it is like the worst thing possible and i also still have like pretty long nails so it's very impossible to do that for me so i just like to keep it on at all times. The last item that I have from Majuri is an item that you guys, oh, like I literally love you guys because when this product came out, I didn't even know. I got so many DMs from, I guess, people who watch my Majuri videos going like, didn't you say that if Majuri came out with the boyfriend bold chain anklet, you would get it or whatever? And I was like, yes. So you guys actually told me that it came out. And of course I jumped on it the minute you guys told me I have the necklace as you guys know and I also have the bracelet and then now I have the anklet I will show you guys a little bit more up close on the side but it just looks so 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 pretty and I actually stacked it with another anklet that I already have from Majuri which is the plain chain and I feel like the two of them together just look so good. I don't want to spoil it for later, but basically I got a tan and I feel like jewelry just looks significantly better on like tanner skin. And I just find that with the anklets with heels in the summertime, it looks so cute. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that you guys check it out. You guys actually told me about it. Okay. So moving on to beauty, the first product I want to share with you guys today is one by Kiehl's. And if you guys watched last month's video, I had a really exciting announcement. Basically I have a partnership now with Kiehl's. I get 15% off for you guys. I believe only for Kiehl's Canada, but it's 15% off if you guys use my code down below, which is amazing because I already have all these Kiehl's products. I've already been sharing them. Now you guys can save some money too. So for this month's product that I wanted to share with you is the Kiehl's Multi Action Cream in SPF 30. So this product I have actually had for a very, very long time already. This is one of the products I've just like been using for not just for this month, but just like in general. I also mentioned this in my last video when it comes to SVF products I have a huge range I don't like to stick to one because it really depends on my mood this product I like to personally use it when I feel a little bit lazy in my skincare routine and I don't want to use a moisturizer and then SPF if I want to skip a step that day I will just be lazy and I will use this product and it is super hydrating and very very creamy I tend to like this product when I'm at a stay-at-home day when I'm not going out when I'm not putting on makeup it just makes it super easy for me and it also hydrates my skin because it is a little bit thicker which is why I like to put it on on days where I don't wear makeup so it's more hydrating throughout the entire day and I know that it's not gonna get super oily because I'm not putting makeup on top of it that's my personal use for this product so I've been using it throughout the last few months yeah I just really really like it so give this one a check out if you guys also feel like you have those types of needs with SPF products the next product that I got is actually not a product that I use for the full month but I actually still think it's appropriate for this video and let me explain why. The next product is the Pharmacy Sweet Apple Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm and this is what it looks like. This is a cleansing balm. It's basically exactly how you would use a cleansing oil which is you would use it on clean dry hands. You would put it on your hand, rub your hands together, put it on your makeup face and then rinse it with water and everything comes out. Typically, I don't usually like makeup bombs. I like to leave my oil makeup remover in the shower. It's the first thing I use when I get in, but I just feel like because it's in the shower, it'll get like super wet or whatever. So I just typically don't like bombs. How? 
ever. This bomb. Okay, let me tell you how I heard about it in the first place. If you guys know Glamzilla, she is one of my favorite influencers to watch when it comes to beauty. She was raving about the product, but the one thing that caught my eye was she said that this product is the only product that removes the NYX lipstick. So if you guys watch my other favorites video, I was obsessed with the NYX lipstick because it was the only lipstick that had absolutely no transfer, meaning if you put your hand on it, nothing comes off. You can wear it with a mask. It won't even touch your mask. It was even better for me because I have Invisaligns now. When I wear Invisaligns, sometimes the lipsticks go in between the Invisaligns and it's just absolutely gross. The only lipstick that was able to really work with, you know, COVID, my Invisaligns, etc., and long lasting, I was like telling you guys, how I went on like a date, we ate dinner, we kissed, and it still stayed on. This lipstick was such a great lipstick. The issue was I could not remove it. Like it was too good to the point that I literally had issues removing it. Glamzilla was so right. This makeup remover removes everything. Basically the reason why I don't need to try it for the full month is because I actually don't want to use this every day and let me explain why. I feel like with such a powerful makeup remover, I just want to save it for days that I actually have the heavier items on my face. For example, the NYX lipstick when I wear false lashes with either magnetic eyeliner or even eyelash glue. Those are the reasons why I feel like I want to save this product for only those purposes. And then on days like, for example, today I have such a light, airy, like I'm just wearing mascara, no falsies, no nothing. On days like this, I just want to use my regular cleansing oil. But on really heavy duty days, you guys need to have this product as kind of just like on the side for those heavy duty days. But absolutely love that product and it's gonna be always on my counter for sure. Okay, so moving on to the next item. I feel like if you guys follow me on Instagram, this item should not come as a surprise. So the next two items are the two SPF products from Neutrogena. Once again, if you follow me on Instagram, you're gonna be like, I knew you were gonna include this product. And of course I'm gonna include this product because on Instagram, I literally posted one story of me going like this, pulled out and I was like putting it on my neck I got over 30 DMs going like, what brand is that? What product is that? And I was just like, Lisa, you dumb idiot. Like if you just had tagged the products, you like wouldn't have gotten such a huge influx of DMs and like do your damn job and include the links, bitch. But anyway. I'm just letting you guys know, the first product is the Neutrogena Face Mist. Obviously, when you are outside, you can spray your face without having to touch your makeup, which is amazing. The one complaint I have about this product is sometimes it makes you look kind of oily, which is why on days when I still want to look like my makeup is still on point, I'll still prefer the Super Goop Powder. Super Goop Powder, I'm always like, are you actually like on the entirety of my face? Like, I don't know. If you guys are outside and like if you're playing in the water or you're just like playing in the sun and you don't really care that much about your makeup, it's like pretty good. It's weird because sometimes it looks oily on me, sometimes it doesn't, but whatever. I will leave it up to you guys to decide. The second product is probably my face, like I like this one a little bit more than the mist, but this is the face and body stick sunscreen. This one is so amazing because it's so concentrated. When I put it on my arm, I know I'm putting it on my arm and I know I'm just like coloring. I know it is on 100% on the areas that I rub and also when I do want like more concentrated, you know, SPF on my faces, I'll actually just go ahead and like dab like certain areas, kind of just like put it over my face, put it over my body. The biggest one is neck and I also use it for the back of my hands. One of the first and easiest signs of aging is the back of your hand. When you think about like your grandmother or something, I don't know, for me, when I think about my grandmother, I always think about holding her hands. The two areas I find is like the back of the hands and also like on top of the eyelid really, really need a lot more attention. So even now, like I should just... <laughs> <laughs> so enough of those two products. I think that's why I really wanted to mention them. So the next set of products is something that I kind of alluded to a little bit earlier, which was about self tanning. Saint Tropez actually gifted me the self tanning set to say that it has changed my life is an understatement. Let me explain. First of all, as you guys can see, there's like a little bit of a summer glow. This is from the Saint Tropez self tanning. This is the tannest I've ever been in my life. I feel like after I saw myself in a tan, when I put on clothes, even when I look at myself naked, 
I just get the sense that I'm like better than everybody else. Like, you know what I mean? This is how confident I feel now with a tan. My friend, she is addicted to self tanning and I never understood it because I never tried to be honest. Once I tried, I'm like, I see it. Like I understand and I can see why because you feel like you're just like above everybody. Oh my God, this is me. Anyway. So let me explain the products and also how this has changed my life. Part of this set, this is the Saint Tropez set and it is with Ashley Graham. This set is absolutely beautiful. There are five products. I'm gonna start in the order of how you would use them. First product is the exfoliator. This is part of the prep and maintain. This is the exfoliator. You just use it in the shower. The next product is the moisturizer, which you can use after you exfoliate. Then we have, you know, the actual self tan, we have the self tan mousse and we also have the mitt and then lastly we have the self tanning face mist I have used all of it and this is my feedback for each product so number one the exfoliator and the moisturizer smell divine oh my god like sometimes I'll just open it and I'm like oh yes for the exfoliator, I find that the beads are like really, 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 really micro and I just feel like it actually really gets to everything. I really, really like this exfoliator more than most of the exfoliators I have received and even in PR packages. This is a really, really good exfoliator. The moisturizer, once again, I feel like it's not like super, you know, out there, but for the moisturizer in particular, the smell is absolutely amazing. I love the packaging. Finally, when we have the self tan, so like I said, because it was my first time self tanning, I actually had to call up my friend Brienne and she was FaceTiming me as I was like standing naked in front of her trying to self tan and she actually had all these amazing tips about self tanning. Like she told me to start kind of like with the ankle and exactly what I needed to scrub, how I needed to blend it to my feet and hands. The most difficult, not because of the product, just myself and my technique that I need more practice on is self tanning the hands and the feet. With the hands, basically because as you guys know, I have eczema on the top of my hand the tan picks up a little bit faster and deeper so you guys can kind of see like a more of a color gradient difference but this is mostly because I have eczema here so I think that I need to time it a little bit shorter when it comes to my hands but based on my friend's technique it did turn out pretty good though and she did suggest you know like doing like a claw and then putting the mitt all throughout I also found that what really helped with my back because like I said I live alone so I had no one helping me I actually stuck a spatula up here, like a wooden spatula. I got inspired by like a back scratcher. So I like stuck it throughout the mitt and it actually really helps me get my back. The tan, I personally left it on only for four hours because since it was my first time self tanning, I didn't want to go really, 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 really tanned. I wanted just something in between and I feel like it was the most ideal time. I don't know if you guys can tell from the top of my chest, but I just have this like really golden glow to myself now. Like I said, I feel like when I wear any clothes, I just look slimmer. I don't know, like healthier. Like I, I, I don't know what it is. It gives you that sensation that you are better than everybody. So anyway, I'm like not in a conceited way, but like kind of a little bit. If you guys have never tried self tanning, you guys need to get this package. Also because I cannot tan in the sun to save my life. Like I literally cannot tan. And also because as you guys know, I'm such a huge SPF person. I actually much prefer this method because I don't want to put myself out there like soaking up UV rays when I can get the exact same result much faster and without having to expose myself to some SPF. So the one thing that I do want to say about this entire kit is I actually used every single one of the products. I feel like everything worked really, really well together. The mitt was absolutely essential in applying the self tan. Another thing that I like about the self tan, which I actually learned from my friend Rianne, not every self tanning brand out there does a color guide. And I didn't know what a color guide was, but essentially if you guys are also new to self tanning, it basically is when you put on the tan you get to see a difference in color so you guys know exactly what you're doing if you guys don't remember I actually tried self tanning with a few drops before they didn't have a color guide and I had to put it in with my moisturizer and it ended up being such a bad tan I had like color all over different places it was such a bad experience it was because that one didn't have a color guide but this one does even though I was using it kind of for the first time I got like the most perfect even tan I feel like once this face 
dates, I'm definitely gonna be doing it again. The mint was so, so, so helpful. You definitely need to use it. The last thing was I wanted to talk about the face mist as well because when my friend was running through how to do the self-tanning thing, she's like, I've never used the mist before so I don't actually know if it helps or how to use it properly. After just kind of like guessing, cause I was looking at the instructions, there weren't too many. Number one, it actually did bring more color to my face. So yes, it does work very well. The second thing is that what I found was after spraying it on, because I wasn't sure if it was gonna go on properly, I very gently kind of rubbed the mist all over my face. So it gave a very even distribution. I feel like also for the next time I'm gonna self tan, I think I'm gonna try to give myself like a gradual contour using the products. So I will update you guys on that and tell you guys how it goes. Overall, I am just so in love with this entire kit and it is so life-changing because I don't think you're gonna see a pale Lisa ever again. Like I have been pale my entire life. It's so impossible for me to tan and this has made it so much easier for me and I look, dare I say, fabulous. Except for the hands, except for the hands, okay? I'm working on that and that's because of my eczema, but it has nothing to do with the product. I just need to kind of like learn to work with my skin. But if you also have eczema, let me know your tips as well because this is something that I'm gonna have to kind of like work around. That is all I have to say about the same trope kit. You guys definitely need to check it out and I'm gonna move on to the next category. The second last product that I have for you guys is kind of in the beauty and wellness stage, but it is my Wasa. So basically, if you guys do not know what this is, it is a old Chinese technique in how to kind of basically kind of like shape your face a little bit. It has so many benefits. I don't know if I'm saying this right, but it's like it drains your lymphatic something if you guys know what I'm talking about but if you guys notice that my jaw is a little bit sharper it is because I have been doing this practically every day I really recommend a few things if you are gonna get one number one make sure you are getting it from like an authentic store both of the ones that I have were gifted from PR so I can't kind of like recommend exactly where it is you guys can buy it from like you know more like Chinese places I will leave a few links down below for inspo I don't have it personally the second thing is you have to watch a YouTube video on exactly how to use the technique because there are people out there that are more professional than me that can teach you how to do it. I've just been watching these YouTube videos. Maybe I will recreate another one after watching more videos so I feel more confident telling you guys. Make sure you follow the YouTube videos and don't just randomly do it on your face. Make sure you actually follow a professional video. But that's something that has been super relaxing to me at night and just part of my night routine. And also it gives you the benefits of of a more, I guess, like structured face, etc. And yeah, I've just been really liking it in my wellness routine. So the last product that I have for you guys is my Kindle. I've actually had my Kindle for a very, very long time now. However, to be honest, I haven't even started using it until this last month. As you guys know, part of my wellness thing and the plan with me, we are picking a book for every month. This last month, the book that we read was The Four Agreements, which is another recommendation that you guys should definitely check out the book. It is not long at all. It is only like a hundred something pages. If you can buy it, buy the book. If you are trying to save, I do have a link on how to download free Kindle books down below that you guys can follow the instructions. But I've just been really liking my Kindle. It is waterproof. I'm not afraid to bring it to the beach, to my friend's pool. And also I just find that it's a lot better for me when I want to read kind of like lying down because I'm not carrying this really hefty book and trying to turn the page. Yeah, super easy to carry around and it saves the tree it saves the planet. I also want to try to live a little bit more minimally so I don't want to collect physical books anymore either. Make sure you guys check this out. There's actually two different sizes that you guys can buy depending on how many books you guys are reading. Like there's eight gigabytes and there's also 32. But the one that I have is just from Amazon. I will leave a link down below for you but it's honestly been changing my life. Feel a lot more grounded this month. I'm so excited to share with you guys my ideal self series. Anyway that is all I have for you guys in this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys join me in my ideal self series this upcoming month and also my plan with me series where I will go along with you guys to plan my goals for the month, my intentions for the month, and also pick out the books and also talk about last month's book. Make sure you click subscribe. If you like this video, please click the like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!